Good morning and welcome to the unofficial celebration of Tuesday morning, August the 25th, also <laughs> known as Cincy Lifestyle. Thank you for joining us this morning. Mona, good morning. Good morning to you, Clyde. It is a beautiful day out there, but really hot and sticky, I hear it's going to be. So um, this is a good morning for you to be inside and with us on Cincy Lifestyle. Yes, Hey, Clyde, you, you, you probably saw some of the really touching posts over the weekend about um, and on social media about Kobe Bryant, who would have been 42 on Sunday. Mm, yeah. Well, you know what? Many people called it Mamba Day after Kobe's nickname. But, you know, he, he had such a, a, a loving tribute by a WNBA player, Diana Taurasi, hope I'm pronouncing that right, who marked Kobe Bryant's birthday by wearing his number during the game against the Washington Mystics. And she also paid her respects by playing a remarkable game. She scored her highest ever in one game, 34 points. And she helped lead her team, team to a great win. So um, that's a wonderful way to pay tribute to a sports star and somebody that a lot of people looked up to. Well, you know, I think a lot of us are still in shock about uh, his passing and uh, that of those who were with him on that helicopter when it went down. So, uh, you know, yeah, you, you're, you're going to continue to see uh, remembrances of Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the others who were with him on that helicopter. But um, that was an impressive way to do it last night. It was. It was. We're so happy about that. Yep. Well, we've got lots more inspiration for you this morning. A life coach who overcame multiple setbacks. She's here to share her experience and a family that recycles wood scraps into something beautiful, plus their mission to help other human beings. But first, we are going to talk this morning about tennis and in particular, uh, a club some of you know. It's hard to believe, but actually right now we're in the middle of the Western and Southern Tennis Tournament this year. It's being played in New York, so in honor, Allie Martin, our very own tennis star herself, hit the court where a local up-and-coming professional got her start. And you'll learn how this club can teach you the game. You can travel throughout the country, and people know Cincinnati tennis. From the Western and Southern Tournament in Mason, to Cincinnati setting the model for indoor tennis leagues with over 350 teams competing. This city produces high caliber players, and Harpers Point in particular has trained a wide range of D1 athletes, like Ohio State's John McNally, the Allaire brothers, JJ Wolf, and the young professional herself, Katie McNally. She is on the Pro Tour, a Cincinnati local, and really got her start here. Yes. Talk a little bit about that and how proud you guys must well, be. Well, of course, you know, Katie is, is part of the family. Mm -hmm. She was actually born here, her mom works here, and, and has for 23 years. And Katie really, from the time she was probably four weeks old, uh, spent most of her life here at the club. We've got a, a, a wall, a hitting wall on the other side of the club named the Katie uh, McNally Rally Wall because when she was two or three years old, she'd come down and hit for hours on that wall. Yeah. So uh, Katie is part of the family. She grew up here. Uh, you knew right away that she was something special. I mean, just uh, she just was something special. You could you could tell just by her ball instincts and her ability to uh, to move. What you can't tell right away is the ability to work, and she certainly had that ability to work, and she was very very focused. The American teenagers do it again. Coco Goff and Katie McNally. Now we may not all become the next Katie McNally or Roger Federer, but that's okay. The Cincinnati tennis community has all ages and all talents playing across the tri-state, and there really has never been a better time to learn to play. What do you have to say to someone who may have never picked up a record before and you is looking to learn? You don't know what you're missing, first of all. Uh, you know, it, it, you know the, 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 the catchphrase is, it's the sport of a lifetime, and it truly is a sport of a lifetime. There was a report out a couple of years ago that uh, tennis is the number one sport for longevity, for living longer. So there's a lot of a lot of health reasons to play tennis, as well as the the, uh, the social reasons as well. Those are very good. The club at Harpers Point offers a wide range of clinics, from mini camps for the youngins to competitive programs for junior high and high schoolers, and even beginner classes for adults. 
We have a program called Instant Tennis, and uh, we guarantee that you will be able to hit the tennis ball over this net within the first 10 or 15 minutes. That's and we use, the same, we use the same concept as we do with the little kids. We use a, a slower ball, and uh, you know, we teach the forehand first, and the whole idea is, you know, let's just get it over the net, and let's have some fun. Yeah. And uh, it, 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 it takes the difficulty out of the game. Because it's, it's not an easy game. We've tried to make it a lot easier, and we have. And uh, our instant tennis program for adults is, uh, is really quite effective. It's like shooting that jumper. You've got to hold on to the finish, just like that. that was There's cool. not a better sport taking in everything, the exercise, the social, um, you know, the, 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 the mind, everything. And, and of course, here at Harper's, we try to create that atmosphere. You know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, uh, Friends, okay? Yeah. yeah. Norm, <laughs> yeah, or no, yeah, I'm thinking yeah, yeah. cheers. Cheers, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Yeah, yeah. No one's a stranger here. Exactly Amen. right. Amen. Uh -huh. And like you said, also, just Cincinnati has such a strong tennis community in general. So now, I think it's time to hit the court. I think you have to hit some balls. All right. Good deal. All right, Allie, let's, let's do it, this. okay? <laughs> wow, Allie, it looks like you had a ball there. No pun intended. Yeah, well, but okay, I'm... pun intended. But, <laughs> but tell us a little bit more about how you feel that, were you surprised that so many quality athletes and tennis pros came out of our greater Cincinnati area? You know, it's, Mona, it's really funny that you asked that because when I was younger, I didn't realize the caliber of players that I was playing up against and just what tennis means to the Cincinnati community. You know, Harper's is one of many clubs in this area from, you know, five seasons, Eastern Hills, Western Hills, Camargo, there's the list goes on. And at that time when I was younger, I did not realize that because I had mentioned in the piece a handful of D1 athletes who, you know, really have made a mark on tennis, but then they've also been training D2, D3, um, a wide range of players. So at that time, I did not know that. And it's funny, you know, even seeing the McNally rally wall, I remember Katie when she was a tiny human, tiny, tiny, hitting up against that wall. And it is just watching her at the U.S. Open and being able to support the tennis community here is so, so exciting. And it's just something that, you know, I can't scream enough to this, you know, to Cincinnati and our tri-state because we are so, so lucky even having the Western and Southern tournament up in Mason. People travel all over for that. Well, Allie, that was a great story by a great ambassador for tennis. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> Finding a piece of art that speaks to your soul and fits with the feel of your home can be difficult, but a husband and wife couple are taking wood scraps and turning them into something beautiful and unique all while helping people in need. And right now I want to welcome Ross Tuggle, the owner of Tuggle's Timber. Ross, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right. So you got a kind of a funny origin story. Tell us about it. Yeah. Um, before my wife and I were married, we uh, she had came over to my house for a date and she saw an old porch swing um, in the alley. And she just commented on how she loved the color of the wood and she wishes that we could fix it. Um, so I had the idea of uh, trying to take the wood from that porch swing and making it into a picture frame. Um, I had no idea how to do any woodworking or anything like that. And so it was in over my head and it just didn't happen. So um, I, I ended up salvaging what wood I could and just kind of made a little piece of art that I mimicked uh, some flooring that I saw. Um, and gave it to her, and she loved it, and uh, it just kind of rolled into other people wanting a piece of art, and um, just kind of exploded into what it is today. Wow, well, all right, so you've got some popular designs. Show us some, and tell us about how you make them. Yeah, um, so a lot of my pieces are just kind of abstract, mosaic type things. Um, I've done a few different uh, states with, with the mosaic uh, design in it, um, mountain scenes, people really seem to, uh, like the mountain scenes that I do, but, um, just anything that kind of comes to me whenever I'm, I'm thinking of, of the design, uh, based on, uh, the individual's home and what their home looks like. And I try to match that with it. I mean, you know, Ross, these are beautiful pieces. So where do you get the <laughs> materials you. that you work with? 
Yeah. Um, my wife and I we used to live in a neighborhood here in Indianapolis called Fountain Square, which is it's a lot different than Cincinnati's Fountain Square. But um, in that neighborhood, a lot of the homes are being torn down and being rebuilt. So we would go on walks and notice all of this wood just kind of being thrown in the dumpster. And um, so we decided, OK, let's let's use this wood that no one wants and create something out of it that way. You know, we're, we're preventing stuff just going into the landfill, being burned. We're, we're, we're able to kind of um, use one man's trash to make, you know, another man's treasure kind of thing. You know, and not only is that important to you, but you also, when people buy a piece from you, they're also helping people in need. So tell us how that works. Yeah. Uh, whenever I started doing this, I never could fathom that someone would want to pay me money to make something for them. And um, one of my wife's friends suggest, and a way to encourage me to do it was said, you know, well, what if you take some of the money that you earn and give back? So um, we donate 10% of every purchase um, to a local organization helping those experiencing homelessness. Um, our kind of idea was, you know, these homes are being torn down, possibly creating um, a homeless situation for an individual. And this is a way we can kind of in a small way, give back to those people. Well, I love, love, love that, Ross. So um, tell us, how can people get in touch with you if they want to look at and purchase some of your pieces? Yeah, so you can go to TugglesTimber.com or just find us on Instagram and Facebook. Just search by Tuggles Timber and you'll find us. All right, Ross, thank you so much for talking to us. Great work. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, does your body feel like the check engine light is on? We get it, that happens. And we wanna help you take a moment for self-care with the help of best-selling author and inspirational life coach, Lise Wilcox, hope I got her name right. She'll share some tips on how to keep you going for the next 3,000 miles. Plus, it's hard to concentrate when you're hungry. That's why we're working with the Free Store Food Bank and Furniture Fair to make sure kids in our community have access to the food they need. Going to tell you more about the Power Packs program and how you can make sure a child doesn't go hungry. Got all that whole lot more coming your way in just a few minutes. In our increasingly digital world, it can be difficult to take a moment for self-care. But a best-selling author says that not only will taking these moments make you happier, it will lead to a more fulfilling life. And to tell us more, I want to welcome Lise Wilcox, an author and emotional advocate. Lise, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, first, tell us a little bit about your background and your book titled, to Call Myself Beloved. Yeah, you bet. To Call Myself Beloved, A Story of Hope, Healing, and Coming Home is the guidebook that I was so desperately searching for when I was navigating overcoming my own childhood emotional abuse, a really painful divorce that really kind of was the catalyst behind starting a brand new life. And then the, the final Mac Daddy um, getting a breast cancer diagnosis at 37 as a single self-employed mother of three. And so it was actually during chemotherapy, I would, you know, that, that diagnosis was so devastating and the treatment was going to be so aggressive, including, you know, four months of aggressive chemo and a full double mastectomy that I was like, how, how am I going to do this? Like, how am I actually going to do this? And I heard this really intuitive voice say, you were going to make this beautiful. And it hit me in the face and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? And again, it was so clear. It was you were going to make this beautiful. And so knowing that I had that four month window of you know five hours of treatment, I chose to write a book. And now it's this self-love manifesto, this compendium of everything. It took me like a lifetime to learn condensed into 400 pages. It's really beautiful, it's really actionable, and it also feels like you're just talking to a friend. This is wellness month. So what does that mean in our current virtual world? It has, so much meaning in our virtual world. You know, it feels like human connection has been canceled and it, it hasn't. Even if human contact has been 
altered, human connection has not been canceled. And that means too, the connection that we have with ourselves is paramount because the most important relationship you will ever, ever have is the one you have with yourself. And it's the one we tend to focus the least amount of time or energy on. Well, in light of that, what are some things people can do to take a moment for themselves? Well, I think that, you know, number one, we have to appreciate that this isn't like woo-woo. This isn't selfish. This isn't unnecessary. When you have a car, you appreciate very well that you drive that car off the lot and it's your responsibility to take care of that car. There are certain things it needs on a very regular schedule and predictable schedule in order to help it running smoothly. And we do that. But when it comes to, you know, our person, we're like, oh, I already did self-care a month ago, so I don't need to do that anymore. So I think the first thing is to appreciate that this is real, that like caring for yourself, the person is a real thing. And two, to really expand the notion of what self-care is. Sometimes it's like, oh, self-care happens when you go to the spa and you sit there for eight hours. That's when you care for yourself. No, self-care really means tapping in, as I say, and asking yourself, like, what do you want? What do you want right now? What would bring you joy? What would make you feel really good? And if it doesn't make you feel good, how do we opt out of that? And lastly, I would say, you know, getting that clarity of what you want. And this is the big ask, asking for what you want, like learning how to cultivate the courage and confidence to be like, this is actually what I want in my life. And here's how I'm going to go about making it happen. And if people want to connect with you or pick up your book, how can they do that? podcast book. I'm on Instagram every day with a really engaged presence. But as I said, LiseWilcox.com is the hub for all the things. Lise, thank you so much for talking to us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Right now we are here with a familiar face, Ed Hartman. And Ed is heavily involved with Furniture Fair and also Furniture Fair is very involved with our community. And this time around, you are working with the Free Store Food Bank. Talk a little bit about that. Well, um, you know, like you say, Allie, Furniture Fair is involved in a lot of different efforts to help the community. And kids are a big part of uh, who we like to help. So we kind of partnered with uh, Scripps and uh, Channel 9 of the Free Store Food Bank and Furniture Fair and to help raise money to provide power food packs for the kids uh, during this especially hard time of COVID-19. Let's elaborate on that a little bit more and why it's so important to highlight uh, these children right now and really get food um, on the table. Well, kids are going back to school and it's very important that they can focus. Uh, it's very important that they get the nourishment they need. Uh, we know there are thousands of kids in the greater Cincinnati area that are um, food insecure. That means they're hungry. They don't get enough to eat. And uh, most of us take that for granted. And uh, when we see this, uh, we were happy to donate uh, along with Scripps and they had a matching pledge up to $12,000 and we put $2,000 in in the beginning. And the whole total of probably a two week effort, we raised $64,000 to buy these at $5 a piece. Uh, talk about what comes in the power pack. Okay, well, there's a lot of nutritious uh, food. There's, uh, you know, can that's uh, got a, a pullback top so they can eat that. It can be, no can opener. Yeah, no yeah. can opener. So you get ravioli, you, sp you get spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, you get a couple little drinks, applesauce, a little breakfast. This one here is uh, honey scooters. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, this snack pack of I'm pudding. I'm eyeing that one. I, I, I know Allie's Allen. Uh, <laughs> she's eyeing that for sure. Uh, then you get a little uh, apple cinnamon uh, nutritious bar, some uh, kernels of sunflowers, uh, and you got some goldfish and uh, a pepperoni stiff beef jerky. A little so bit of everything. Five bucks, and, uh, and that, that uh, gets the child through the weekend. And I think what's also great to notice is um, you can eat these hot or cold, right? Yes, there's, uh, you know, uh, you might, I might prefer this, but if I was hungry, yeah. cold would be fine. Cold you know? works. Hun the hunger <laughs> changes the, the, the pattern. Betty and I, uh, you know, are raising four grandkids. We know what it's like to have to feed these kids. Uh, they're blessed because uh, we're taking care of them. We've uh, been raising them uh, for the last 12 years. So families are going through a lot of stress right now. And it kind of filters as parents and grandparents what we talk about with the kids in the room that stays with them so they're under a lot of stress we want you to uh, donate you can still do that to donate to the freestorefoodbank.org and uh, the money will go towards these packs 
And I think even now with school starting, it's not a five day a week program. It's uh, some at home, some in school. So uh, we need more of these and uh, that'll help feed these kids, give them the nourishment and make them have a great day in school and enjoy uh, an education. And every little bit counts. Yeah, you want your pudding? I think so. All right. It's funny you ask, Ed. I'll take the kernels. I must, <laughs> I'll stay healthy. Cheers to that. Ed Alley, thanks a lot. Hey, if you'd like to donate and make a difference in a local child's life, you can go to freestorefoodbank.org slash WCPO9. Now remember, just five bucks can make a huge dent when it comes to providing meals to hungry kids. Mona? Well, we'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, have you checked this out on a YouTube? I'm telling you, We've got all full episodes. That means you can see the beginning of the show that is barely seen on other platforms. And that's when Clyde and I kind of yuck it up. So subscribe now on youtube.com slash Cincy Lifestyle. Now this is somewhat unusual. No commentary from PK, the director, on today's weather. So let's just get right to it. It'll be hot and humid out there as isolated severe storms uh, cannot be completely ruled out for everybody around here today. So be on the lookout for that. High today of 90. It's gonna feel like it's 95, Mona. <laughs> yeah, okay, well. Coming up tomorrow, what do we have, Clyde? On Cincy Lifestyle, for all of the uh, bourbon spirit lovers, we'll take you behind the scenes of a one-of-a-kind shop <laughs> in the country. We dust off the bottles and tell you uh, how you can get your hands on these rare vintage spirits, Mona. Well, that's going to be fun. Hey, so you know what? You'd be surprised at how many of our guests come from your idea. So reach out to us and make it a great day. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, make it a great day.